Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Sunny Alvi, and I want to do something a bit different. I'm going to do a 2020 world prediction. <laughs> um, I am going to try my best to tap into the energies um, to see what's going on. Hopefully, you do not hear a lot of noise in the background. If you do, child. It is what it is. I'm sorry. Um, but if you like a personal reading, um, all of my information is in the description box below. But yeah, okay. So <clears throat> my voice went out. When I connect with the vibration of the world, I'm picking up on the word sacrifice. The world is in jeopardy, or it has been in jeopardy, but it's coming to a truce now. Kind of weird, but I'm hearing winners will win and losers will lose. Sore losers at that will lose. So you're going to have to get your mind right. I feel like the vibration of 2020, everyone must get their head right. Um, I feel that some of you, you may go through a lot of panic attacks or panic attack, uh, anxiety, depression will be on the rise. Um, I keep picking up on something in regards to the head, issues with the head. Um, maybe a, there would be a lot of um, like brain issues, brain tumors, uh, spinal cord, uh, surgeries, or like there's commercials saying, oh, if you took this medicine and you, you have this brain injury or if you're going through panic attacks, hallucinations, um, you, you may win this lawsuit, like, you may hear something about that in regards to the brain, <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm also sensing that the world will go through a major panic attack, and it's going to be, I'm hearing it's, it's going to be for a good cause, but at the time, it's going to feel like, oh shit, what the hell is going on? But it's really happening for a good cause. Beings of the beyond want us to take a look at ourselves. And I feel like this planet is getting manipulated in a sense by higher beings and higher forces for a reason. I feel like there's going to be more alien sightings or alien sightings or just like creatures that are unhuman like. I'm hearing the word ungodly like. Um but I feel like, you know, and instead of seeing UFOs or, like, things in the sky, like, I feel like it's going to be, like, actual beings. Like, you know, like, the Loch Ness Monster and Bigfoot and Sasquatch, like, stuff like that. Like, I feel like there's going to be more sightings of creatures like that. Um. I am picking up on um, the world being more divided. There's going to be a lot of tension. For some reason, I'm picking up on the um, the location of Chile. Uh, maybe there's going to be some issues with segregation um, in South America, especially, we are going through a lot in North America. I'm not really too sure on other areas, but, um, 
for some reason spirit wanted me to talk more about Chile and uh, segregation going on in there and also um, South America. I am picking up that there may be uh, some sort of landslide in Africa as well that may kill billions. I feel like this is something that possibly happened before. But it's like it's repeating itself, whether this is a mudslide, it's um, like an avalanche type of deal. Um, once again, I feel like this is going to happen in Africa, like the outskirts of Africa. Um, I'm not picking up on a particular city, but I, I keep picking up on a village. Um, and once again, it's like the outskirts of Africa once again that's all I'm being told I'm picking up Iceland um, Iceland getting an, a new ruler I know this sounds kind of weird or like the, the the country or whatever is um, getting new rules I I don't I heard I heard the location of Iceland, but baby, I don't know if it's if it's a city, if it's a country. Don't, it's not a country. If it's, I don't know. But once again, Iceland's getting a new ruler, setting new rules. That's what I'm picking up. I feel like we're going to be aware of like hidden homes. Um. I keep picking up on uh ice like the ice age but um I like I keep picking it up as like a location like like top of the globe um <clears throat> I believe Iceland is like near the top of the globe y'all please forgive me I don't mean to sound ignorant but I keep picking up on like like secret hideaways secret houses at the top of the, of the roof, like at the top of the globe, um, where it's forbidden, where it's unknown. I keep hearing the word capture. So maybe there's going to be some issues going on in Iceland or like at the top of the globe where it's like hidden things um, will be coming to the light uh, about stuff like that. Um, I keep picking up something about ties to the elite, mm, the top of the top of the globe um has something to do with the elite forces um i am picking up that maybe there's going to be a discovery of a different type of cloud um i know if i'm not mistaken there are three types of clouds don't ask me the type of names for those clouds because i don't remember but I feel like there's going to be a new type of cloud um, being discovered, whether this is in our realm or in outer space. Um, I feel like there's going to be uh, issues of war in a forbidden country. I'm hearing the word Syria. Um, I don't keep up with the news, really, because um, the news depresses me. So I'm not sure if war is already happening, but I keep picking up on nuclear war, nuclear bombs, forbidden Syria. I'm hearing that. Um, I feel like... Um, I keep picking up on time, uh, like time clock, Big Ben. So maybe there's a possibility of um, England, Great Britain, uh, one of them. <laughs> there may be an issue of them being pulled into war or like them being pulled into some mess. But I feel like it's going to be because someone runs their mouth. Someone tells a secret. Someone black smell. Uh, someone blackmails the um, 
prime minister or ruler, whatever, of England, Great Britain. Um, so there's going to be some issues with that. Uh, I feel like there's going to be some secrets coming up in regards to uh, democracy. And it's, it's going to be, like, I'm hearing loose lips. Loose lips tells it all. A male is coming into my visions. Um, older. I feel like he's a part of the U.S., but he does have ties to Great Britain. Um, I'm hearing, I'm hearing the word Ben. Not Ben Sanders. I, I don't feel like the man that I'm seeing, like, he's not that old. I feel like he's about, like, 50s, I want to say, um, like, 40 through 60, um, but younger than 60, to be honest. Um, he has, uh, salt pepper hair, but I feel like his natural hair color is brown. Um, I feel like he has glasses, but for some reason, there's going to be some... There's going to be some bad news about um, a person named Ben. Um, he may be part of the American democracy, or he may have tied to uh, Great Britain some way, somehow. I feel like there's going to be great destruction to I'm hearing Taj Ta, Taj Mahal either there's going to be talks of tearing it down threats of tearing it down uh, someone is very close to destroying it but I keep picking up on um, an issue with that, like tearing it down, or maybe they want to remodel it, but I keep picking up like a backlash with either remodeling it or like there's, there's sadness and hatred and frustration with a destruction of some kind to the Taj Mahal. I'm not sure if this has happened. I just have to tell y'all what I damn see. Okay. Um, I am picking up in regards to outer space. They are, uh, there's a new discovery when it comes to a different type of galaxy, maybe even a black hole or a world, but I keep picking up on another Milky Way, but it's, it's brighter. Like it, it has more stars connected to it. Um, yeah. We, I have to say we, because that's what I heard. We need to be cautious of what we're tapping into. Okay? And I feel like this is leaning more towards, like, outer space and scientists and astronauts. Like, I feel like with the energy and the dimension that we're in right now with 2020 or, you know, whatever the year is. I had to say that for some reason. Um, okay. I'm going to say what I'm, what I'm about to say, but then I, I'm going to talk about something else because I wanted to confirm something. But, um, once again, with us going into a different dimension and with us being in 2020, um, I feel like this is going to be the time where being nosy, snooping around, um, going into something head first, like, and not thinking, not being cautious about it, not listening to your gut. Like, I feel like that is going to be a downfall. And I feel like when it comes to, once again, like, scientists and astronauts, when it comes to outer space... They really need to be cautious and careful with what they are traveling into, what they're, you know, going into. So there may be talks of, of astronauts um, being missing, you know, like uh, they can't uh, find the the rocket ship, you know, they aren't 
getting radio signals from the astronauts who are in outer space. Like, I just feel like it's going to be some crazy shit like that. Like, I, once again, like, there's going to be a discovery of, it's like a Milky Way, but I'm not sure if it's bigger, but I keep picking up on, like, it's, it's much brighter than the Milky Way, but it's more of a black hole. Like, from the outside looking in, it looks like another galaxy. It looks, and it could be, it looks like, once again, the Milky Way, but behind it is a black hole, is a black mask. So, yeah, um, and maybe this is a metaphor for, like, um, be careful of things that appear to be good and of light and sweet and innocent. It may be something more sinister. Um, maybe we are discovering, and I have to be honest, maybe we are coming into the realization that the gods that we have been worshiping or forced to worship isn't who they appear to be. Okay. Um, okay. But going back to what I was going to say, um, I talked about the year 2020 but I was kind of weird about it. I feel like things are out of whack, okay? Um, a spirit wanted me to say, this really isn't 2020, okay? We're in the wrong time. We're, we're in the wrong season. We're on the wrong date. And that's creating a lot of havoc. That's creating a lot of sorrow. That's creating a lot of misfit and misfortune. But the damage is already done and we just have to roll with the punches and we just have to move forward and try to succeed the best way that we can before it's too late. But it's very damaging right now, everything that's going on. And unfortunately, we can't be stopped. The Antichrist is very serious. Um, it, but it's more than one person. Yes, there's a head, but it's it's other minions behind it. You know, unfortunately, we are going into th this period of evil and destruction. It's like Pandora's box reopened, but it reopened a while ago. Unfortunately, it 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 opened up more than five years ago, and it's like we have to face the consequences. So yeah, that was kind of deep. Something spoke through me, okay? Um but during this time like we we must understand the mirror. Um things are happening to us and for us for a reason. But once again, you must acknowledge the mirror. Um I feel like, once again, in 2020, you can't be fake. It's going to be obvious that you're being fake. And it's going to be very obvious, like, politically, that people are being fake. Once again, there's going to be a lot of secrets coming to the light. Whether it's funny secrets, it's disgusting secrets, it's um, very sad secrets... Things are coming to the light. I feel like every person who uh, is involved in politics, like, they are very well known. Like, a senator, mayor, president, um, judge, you know, whatever the case may be. Like, I, I just feel like things are coming to the light about every single one of them. Or every single person that they know. Okay. Um, I feel like death is going to be on the arise. It's like. It seems like every. It seems like. People are dying every day. Like every time you turn around. Somebody else. Has died. Okay. And I feel. Okay. I don't want to sound crazy, but I have to tell you what I hear. I keep picking up on, like, mass forces. Like, something is trying to control. I feel like like, like there's, there's two big parties trying to control 
this government, you know, and, and I feel like one of it is power. Both of them are powerful, but one is like greed and selfishness and just chaotic and just bad. And then the other side is, is helpful, but the helpful side is seen as once again, ungodly. Like it is seen as sinister. It's seen as this just bad, you know, and truth will come to the light about what's really good and what's really bad. And I find it kind of interesting because when I was just now talking about those two entities or energies, like my nose got stuffy. So yeah, but I'm going to cut this short. I know it wasn't really much about like what's going on in the world, but yeah, I just had to tell you guys what I saw, but hopefully you enjoyed this reading. Good luck with everything, and I shall see you guys next video. Take care. Bye.